Thank you, David. And, of course, uh, get in touch if there are uh, any problems out there this morning that uh, you know about that we haven't yet found out. Now, travellers have been moved off the former Passmore school site in Harlow, but there are still unauthorised uh, unauthorized camps on the Passmore's car park and Cold Harbour Road, both owned, by the way, by Essex County Council. There have been over 60 unauthorised camps across the town in the last 12 months. The MP at the moment is Robert Halfen, and uh, Robert joins us now. Uh, you are the MP. Robert, um, should the law be changed? Well, first of all, good morning. Yes, um, it, it, the law should be strengthened, and I'm arguing in Parliament, I had a debate on it just before Christmas, that it should be a criminal offence for if people set up illegal encampments and break the law in this way. But I should say that there are plenty of laws at the moment. There are laws on trespass, there are laws uh, regarding highways, there are laws regarding antisocial behaviour. And I believe that um, the council and uh, the police haven't done enough to enforce those laws. They've uh, used, there's a section 61 where if there are six or more caravans, people can be removed quite quickly. Um, the police very rarely use that section 61. I, I've spoken to Essex Council, the, the cabinet member for Essex Council, about this issue. Just at Christmas time, the, there were huge amounts of, uh, of travellers setting up illegal encampments at the old Passmore school site. There were court orders to remove the, uh, uh, the illegal encampments and the police wouldn't act. I have had emails from the police going what have the police said, human Robert? rights. What have the police well, said to you about I it? Put some, I put one of the letters up on my blog where they f seem to focus more on the human rights of the travellers. I know for a fact, because I've spoken to MP colleagues around the country, that police in other parts of the country, like in, in Swindon and in Surrey, have had a much more zero-tolerance approach to illegal encampments. I believe that the council should do more in terms of bylaws, uh, which they can do. There is a host of legislation. I have a book in front of me of the different parts of legislation. Why hasn't our council introduced bylaws? Yes, I have a job in Parliament, and, and that's absolutely right, and I'm doing what I can. I've brought government ministers down, the Justice Secretary, the Community Secretary. I've written to the Home Secretary. I raise it in Parliament at every opportunity. I've had debates in Parliament. I've set up a town-wide petition. And actually, I'm glad you had the Labour candidate, because in the past year and a bit, she has said nothing publicly on this issue. She has not turned up to pub big public meetings we've had on the travellers issue. People in, in Harlow have called her silent, Susie. So I'm glad at last that she's, she's uh, uh, decided to look at this, this, this subject. But, but uh, Enough is enough. Well, there but are laws there, and they should be followed. OK, you've said uh, that, that Harlow is under siege. I mean, do you not think that's going over the top slightly? In fact, I would say I'm under-exaggerating. I have emails, telephone calls and messages from residents every single day uh, who have suffered misery. I go into the cinema and the manager of the cinema says there's been antisocial behaviour uh, in the cinema allegedly uh, caused by individuals from illegal encampments. I've gone to cafes and the cafe owners, uh, where I get my coffee and sandwiches, say that they have suffered antisocial behaviour allegedly from uh, uh, people involved with the illegal encampment. So this is affecting every area of our town. Our town residents have been living in misery. Let the me police refuse to enforce the let, law. Let me uh, get this uh, right, Robert. Chief constable is, yeah. Let me get this right. You've written to Stephen Cavanagh, the Chief Constable, I know. I, You've obviously not, not spoken to once. him. I write to him almost right. <clears> every <throat> few days. Let, let me just get the problem. let me just get yeah. this question out. I want to ask this because I want to be absolutely clear in my mind uh, that you're saying this. You're saying the law exists to deal with these travellers and you're saying that Essex Police are not using the law and they are not doing the job you feel that they should be. Mm. Well, I believe that the law should be strengthened, so I accept that, and it's my job in Parliament to lobby for that, and I'm doing everything I can. But uh, my all view also is there are huge amounts of legislation that both the police and the council can use. Now, the Harlow, Anti -Social, Harlow Council Antisocial Behaviour Team has been excellent, and uh, I've said often that they are the true heroes of this whole... And has the, sorry, has, the because I'm going to run out of time, but let me... Yeah, but have, have the police come back to you? Has the chief constable come back to you and, and said he understands but there's just nothing he can do or is he going to do something about it? 
the police, in, in my view, have abrogated their responsibility and they are not uh, enforcing the law. They are more concerned about human rights of those people who set up illegal encampments. And, they, uh, and I think what has happened has been uh, right. uh, tragic and a disgrace. We will try and, and get an answer from the police and we'll obviously come back to you about this, I, I'm sure, in the not-too-distant future. Uh, Robert, just before you go, can I get your thoughts on winter pressure on A&E services, the local hospital in Harlow, Princess Alexander, A&E is still in black alert. What can be done? Well, first of all, it's, uh, the hospital's under enormous pressure, and I want to thank the staff, um, the nurses, the doctors, and the ancillary staff who work day and night to give us a as best service as they possibly can. There have been huge presses. I mean, across the country, uh, three and a half thousand people more are using A&E services than they were uh, every day, than they were a few uh, uh, years ago. So I, I, I'm very pleased that the government have invested five million in the Harlow A&E service. They've invested 700 million across the country. There's going to be 1,700 more A&E nurses uh, um, to deal with any problems. This is a particular uh, difficulty. I've asked for a meeting with the hospital minister. I've raised uh, this issue in Parliament. He's agreed to do it. I'm meeting with the chief executive of the Princess Alexandra in a week, uh, or, in a week or so, and uh, I will do everything I can in Parliament to try and help the hospital through this difficult time. Are you embarrassed at the moment about how the situation is? The front pages of every paper, Robert, today, the Mail is saying A&E crisis worse for 10 years. The Sun, we have a third world A&E, the, the Express. Hospitals just can't cope. Times helpline blunders lead NHS to meltdown. It's embarrassing the government, isn't it? Well, of course it's not uh, good, and um, but I still believe that uh, we have one of the best NHSs in the world, and the surveys show that. But what the problem is, is that there are 3,500 people more using the NHS A&E every day than there were in 2010. So there is a huge issue here that the government needs to look at. No doubt they'll be, uh, discuss, it will be discussed in Parliament, but the government are reacting to this. They've invested $700 million, as I say, have given $500 Sorry, five million to Harlow A and E services, and they're investing in uh, five thousand extra nurses up and down uh, the country. So it's not that they're just sitting back and waiting to happen. But there were wider issues here about why uh, thousands more people are using uh, A and E services than they were uh, uh, necessarily a few years ago. Uh, Robert Halpin, uh, thank you very much. Robert Halpin, of course, is the uh, MP, Conservative Member of Parliament for Harlow. This is BBC Essex. BBC Essex.